What's up guys? Welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we'll learn about pointers in C. More specifically, we'll learn to work directly with computer memory address with the help of pointers. So let's get started. Pointer is one of the main features that make C programming so powerful. It allows us to work directly with the computer memory. Before we learn about pointers, let's first learn about addresses. In C programming, whenever we declare a variable, a space will be allocated in the memory for the variable and C allow us to access the address of the variable. We use the ampersand symbol with the variable name to access the memory address. Let's see an example. You might be familiar with the basic structure of C program. Now I'll create an integer variable is, so int is, and I'll assign value 25 to this. Now, let's use ampersand symbol to access the address where the is variable is stored. So printf percent p comma ampersand is. Here I have used percent p format specifier to print the address. Now, let me run this code. Here you can see we get this output, which is the memory address where 25 is located. When you copy and run the exact same code, you may get different output because the output is based on the location where the variable is stored and it varies device to device. If you remember, we have used ampersand symbol with scanf like this, like ampersand is, so usually we use this ampersand is with scanf while taking input from the user. This is because with scanf we are instructing the compiler to store the input value at the memory address specified by this ampersand is. Now that you know about memory addresses, let's get back to pointers. Just like a regular variable, a pointer is also a variable. However, a pointer variable stores the memory addresses of the variable, not the actual value. Let's now see how we can create pointers. So I'll create pointer int asterisk ptr. Here, ptr is a pointer variable. Let me create a regular variable and compare these two. So I'll create int var. When comparing these two, you can see the only difference between these two is this asterisk symbol. Now let's see how we can assign value to a pointer variable. Here is our code from our earlier program. Now let me create a pointer variable, int asterisk ptr. As we know, a pointer variable stores a memory address of a variable and we also know that ampersand is gives the memory address so when we assign ampersand is to the pointer variable, the pointer variable should store the memory address of the is variable. So let's do that. Now I'll assign this pointer to the address of is variable. And I'll print this using printf statement. Comma ptr. Now let me run this code. Here you can see we get the same result for both ampersand is and ptr. By the way, if you're watching this, there is a good chance you want to improve your skills in C programming. Lucky for you, we have a mobile app that provides a well-structured C programming course with certification at the end and you can use the app alongside the video to practice on the Builder compiler. Our course is free, so download now by scanning this QR code or click the link in the video description. We can also access the value of a variable using the pointer. Let's see an example. In our code from our earlier example, I'll remove this print statement and I'll modify this print statement here. Address colon express n. Now let's print the value using ptr pointer. I'll use printf statement print f value colon percent d comma 
asterisk PTR. Here asterisk PTR gives the value stored in the PTR address and since the value is an integer, I have used percent %d format specifier. Now let me run this code. As you can see, we have successfully accessed the value using the pointer variable. Remember, PTR is a pointer that stores the memory address and asterisk PTR gives the value stored in the memory address pointed by this PTR. In our last example, we saw that we can access value of a variable using pointer variable. Similarly, we can also change the value of a variable using pointer variable. Let's see an example. Here we have our code from our earlier program. Here in this program, I'll remove these two print statements. Now let's use pointer variable to change the value from is 25 to 31. So I'll use pointer and assign value 31. Since we know asterisk PTR gives the value pointed by the PTR address, so this code assigns a new value to the memory address pointed by the PTR variable. Now let's print the value of the A's variable. I'll use printf statement percent %d, comma, is, and I'll run this. Here you can see the value of A's variable is changed to 31. This is because the PTR pointer points to the address of A's variable and we have changed the value pointed by PTR pointer from 25 to 31. So ultimately we have changed the value of the A's variable. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. While working with pointers, you might encounter these two syntax of creating pointers. While both are the valid ways to create pointers, you should try to avoid the first one because this syntax sometimes creates a lot of confusion. Let's try to understand this with the help of an example. Here we have created a pointer that stores the memory address of the A's variable. In this syntax, this asterisk symbol is attached to PTR, so many things that this asterisk PTR is the pointer. And try to print the address using asterisk PTR, which is wrong. This is because asterisk PTR gives the value pointed by the pointer, not the memory address. Let me show you. I'll use printf statement here percent %d, comma, asterisk PTR. And I'll run this. As you can see, we get the value of the A's variable, not the memory address. So to avoid this confusion, I highly recommend you to create pointer like this. Now you can visualize PTR separately as pointer and asterisk as the part of syntax to create a pointer. Now let's revise pointers. Here we have a regular variable number and pointer PTR. Then PTR is equals to number is wrong. This is because PTR is pointer which can only store memory address but number is not a memory address. So, so this is invalid. Asterisk PTR equals to ampersand number is also wrong. This is because asterisk PTR gives the value stored in the PTR location. However, ampersand number gives the memory address. So, so this is also invalid. PTR equals to ampersand number is a valid code because both PTR and ampersand number represent the memory address. So this is a valid code and asterisk PTR is equals to number. This is also valid because both asterisk PTR and number represent the value stored in the memory location. So this is also a valid code. 
Now to revise what we have learned in this program, here is a programming tax for you. Create a program to change the value of a variable using a pointer. Here is how the program should work. Get input value for a double variable salary. Assign the address of salary to a double pointer. Now use the pointer to print the value of a salary and increase the salary by two times and print the new salary. You will find the answer to this question in our GitHub repository and also if you want to revise these concepts, all this program will be in there. I'll also put the link in the video description below. Now that we have reached the end of this video, it's time for programming quiz. Which of the following is valid for variable A and pointer P? Comment your answer below. See you in the next video. Happy programming.